Oh, hello and welcome to this video and we're going to try and get a 10 minute game with black and there we go we're still on a provisional rating so we'll see if we can get that cemented and um, we're going to reply with d5 to the f4 line and then bishop f5 and we're going to follow up with e6 so that gets the bishop out of the pawn chain and then knight c6 is what I would usually play. <coughs> so I think knight c6 looks good. To put some pressure on d d4, it's probably answered by bishop b5. Um, but then after c d, hmm, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I think we can play this, and then after. Um, Bishop b5, I would expect now for for white. I think we can answer. Um, yeah, maybe bishop, maybe a6 to force the issue now. Um, okay, so so black has the open b file or half open b file. We don't really want to take on d4, bringing the knight to d4. So I think we just sit tight there. The question is now, what what do we do? We need to develop. So I think the bishop would like to go on e7 to keep an eye on the queen side. So then maybe something like knight h6, which seems a bit artificial, but the knight might come to g4. We might be able to play f6, I and mean, we could play f6 right away, try and break down this pawn formation. Um, but it feels a bit loosening with the king. So undeveloped. So we'll go with knight h6. And then we're going to try and play bishop e7 and then castles short. And on when the c when the c1 bishop moves, the plan's probably to play rook b8 with tempo. Okay. G4 is is white eyeing up for g4 here. Is that the idea? I think g4 can be answered by bishop here and then g5 knight f5. So, I'm going to just continue with my development. g is fine, bishop e4. Okay, that's interesting. That looks like it hangs a pawn. So why doesn't... Why can't we just take the b4 pawn? What am I missing here? It really looks like we should be able to take b4. This is g4 idea. Yeah, I don't really get that, so we're just going to hack that off and we'll see what's going on. I don't really see why we couldn't take that pawn. Okay, so we can even take another pawn or just get castled and allow white to take on b4 if he wants to. I think that's the right line, because I don't think we want to help his development necessarily. Okay, so he does do that, and I think here we play bishop b4. So, okay, c3, f um, white's playing really quickly. Um, I think we just have to come back to e7 here, there doesn't seem to be anything else. The only issue here is what, if we could play something like bishop b1, and then take on c3, that would be nice. So, let's just look at that for a moment. Bishop, bishop b1, I would expect c takes b4. Um, and then the bishop needs to withdraw. I don't really want to give up my bishop there, so we'll just bring that back here. And if white wants to just trade off everything, like bishop a3, maybe then like, we probably can take it. But I'm looking to play something like queen b6 now. Then queen b6, c5, and then try and give white a problem on the d4 pawn. I mean, I'm sure that was just a blunder, the b4 move. I don't th see any real compensation for the um, for the pawn. So we'll see what white's got in mind here. It has opened the a file, of a file, excuse me. So we can't play rook b8 now without losing the the a pawn, which is another reason why I think queen b6 makes sense. I think white's main. Okay, so that's that's intended to deal with that. So queen b6 now um, looks good. Um, 
Yeah, I think Queen B6 looks good. We're actually now threatening, possibly, Bishop B1. That's interesting. Bishop B1 looks like it's winning a piece. So the question, first question is, what can what can Black do? Well, he can play C5, hitting the Queen. Um, so where does the Queen go to then? So this is the real key. But after C5, can't we just play Queen B7? And, and yeah, I mean, Bishop B1 looks like it's winning a piece to me. I don't see how we avoid that. Bishop B1. Are there any discovered attacks with the bishop? No. Bishop A on Bishop A3. We can take. Ah, this might be the idea. The bishop b1, bishop a3. Um, bishop takes a3. We're then two pieces up. Then rook takes b1 with a tempo on the queen. And we might lose the a3 bishop that way. So this is the critical line. Feels like it should work. Shouldn't be able to not take this. Um, bishop c2, bishop c2, um, bishop a3. Do I have rook? Do I maybe have rook? bishop d3, then bishop b7? Yeah, let's, let's do this because. Um, okay, so instantly played by white. So what am I missing here? This looks weird. I don't see any discovered attacks. I don't really get this. So bishop, everything's everything's easy. Um, so that's your idea. But can't I just play queen b7 here? Cover everything and be like a rook up? I mean, I think white's just playing too quickly here. Let's pre-move that capture. Okay, so we've just got a pretty much a piece up now. Um, rook fc8 and then take this c pawn looks good. Okay, so I think we take the c pawn with the rook with tempo. Uh, I'm not going mad, I mean, we're just like a pawn on a rook up. So, yeah, okay, let's not, um, let's not. Okay, he's resigned, yeah, okay. Um, alright, well. We'll just take a quick look at the opening, but I think not so much in the game. I mean, I think well, we'll have a look at that um, that that bishop takes b1 position as well. Bear with me. Okay, so uh, we have this d5 response, which is the most popular response to this um, immediate f4. Now, most popular move is e d, um, and I like e d because it brings the queen out, and then you can gain a tempo on the queen. Um, once, once white goes for e5, it's actually, I see actually, you know, a lot in quick games. You can see the ratings going up with the different responses. But e5 I see very often. And then when not, then it actually it's like knight c6 seems to be the most popular move. Although there's not much difference in the rating. I tend to play bishop um, f5 here as you saw. Um, knight c6. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be much difference in terms of. But this is certainly more popular move. We'll just have a quick look at knight c6, and then the main move knight f3. I guess the point of this line is that we haven't committed to bishop in this line, so we can play bishop g4. Um, and actually, is this pretty. G looks like black's black's doing pretty well here. We get the bishop out of the pawn chain. The same as with bishop f5, but we also get this pin on the knight. So that makes sense. So we, we try knight c6 next time around. Um, just go back a couple of moves here. Play bishop f5. Um, then knight f3 seems to be the main move, which is what I played. And then e6 on knight c6. We went for e6. And then we've only got three, three games here. We had d4. It wasn't played in any games, um, and the computer likes black here with 
knight c6 being good, knight h6 being good, and knight e7 as well. Interesting that the knight comes to h6 in this line. It does seem to be that you know I was on the right lines with my knight h6 idea. We played we played knight c6 in the game, and bishop b5 seems okay. Yeah, so we're out of opening theory now. Okay, fine. Um, okay, so I just brought the um, the position to this crucial moment of the game where White played played Queen B6 with a double attack on the knight, and White ignored that. And it's very interesting because the move I played is not what the computer likes best. Um, and I look at it now, and I can see Bishop D3 hitting the rook and the pawn and then apparently just winning a second pawn with a very sort of solid position. I went for bishop b b1 but it doesn't look right and it does look like when we were looking at this line bishop bishop a3 should be good here. Uh, I mean if we just have a look at this now if bishop takes bishop we have rook takes here. Um I mean I don't see anything better than this and then you know White is winning the piece back with some pressure, and I think actually in this position probably White's better. So we went for that line, but it doesn't look like objectively the best line. Um, let's just see what else is there. So this was this after Bishop. Let's just see after Bishop a3. What have we got that's different? I mean, we could try this move here after Bishop takes c7. If we take on f1, Bishop takes f8. Um, I mean, p potentially we can actually play bishop c4. That might be good. And then bishop g7. Well, bishop g7 won't be good. Bishop c4. And then I guess white withdraws to c5 with hit on the queen. Well, probably queen b5 here. And I think black is better here. We are we're actually a couple of pawns up here. Um... So this is all, all. This is also possible by the look of things. Just um, see if there's anything else here. So, um, so bishop d3. Maybe white has here rook d1. Now this is threatened. This is threatened. If we take here, if we take on a3. Then I think rook here, and then we then we escape. So actually, so that's yeah. You I think you have to take e7 here basically. Um, now if rook here, this is an alternative line. Then white wins a tempo with bishop c5. So that isn't going to work. Um, because then he can play c d so for example queen c seven c takes d five c takes and we're we're still a pawn up but we don't have any other advantage so so I think so white does need to take on um excuse me white does need to take on f one I think here I'll just check that rep variation so Switch on the analysis. So we have bishop b1, which it doesn't like. Bishop d3, this is what it wanted to play. Let's assume rook d1. Then bishop takes. Uh, okay, even dc wants to take to keep the bishop there. But if we just look at the line we looked at here, um, with a very sort of solid advantage and no kind of tactics. So if we look at the line that we took, we took on b1, then it should be bishop a3. And now it wants to play bishop takes a3 as the first move. It's interesting, bishop d3 it gives us a lot worse. So bishop a3, it still likes black here, so let's look at that. Now, this was the line that I wanted to play. Ah, that's very interesting. I had completely missed that we can actually, we can interpose the bishop. The so bishop b2, but how does, how do we stop as white? Ah, this is nice because if rook a2 to pin to attack the pinned piece, 
we actually have bishop d4 check. So it's giving this move, and then we've got dc. This is threatening to come in and protect the bishop, so white needs to play queen takes c4. I don't think we're going to allow this piece to escape. It's, it wants, it likes, uh, let's try queen b5, queen takes, a takes, rook takes, rook takes, and then you, you get the b, you get the bishop back um, with a pawn uh, with a pawn advantage for black and an open rook, but I don't know if this is necessarily enough to win. Let's see, rook. You want to play this in king g1, knight e3, rook, rook a4, knight e3. Attacking the knight, knight comes to d5, is a very nice square. Rook c2 to attack the c pawn, rook a6. This seems a little bit passive. Huh? I mean, it does really like black here. Maybe the point is that the b pawn starts to run. Um, okay, so interesting. Okay, thanks for watching.